Hi Capricorn, welcome to your How Does Your Person Feel About You reading. Today we're going to be looking at how your person feels, shockingly, any action that they plan on taking towards you and also um, some guidance cards for you as well on how you should handle the situation. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe because the more we grow the channel, the more readings I can get out for you guys. Remember also, though, that these are not, um, you know, these are general readings rather. They're not going to resonate with every single person every single week, which is perfectly fine. So if you've got that notification button selected um, and you're all subscribed, you'll, you'll make sure that you won't miss your message when it comes through. If you feel like you need a personal reading, you can find all of the details, including how to reach me down in the description box below. All right, let's get straight into it. We're going to make these short and sharp this week so Capricorn I'm sure I said Capricorn I'm sure I said Capricorn I meant Capricorn if I didn't say Capricorn I meant Capricorn what's happening for Capricorn how does Capricorn's person feel about them right now please the person that Capricorn is here for how does their person feel about them please okay strength in reverse you are their weakness, Capricorn. You may be dealing with a Leo here as well. Yeah, you're you their weakness because you're their wish fulfillment. You may be dealing with an Aquarius, um, but they're kind of blinded by how amazing they think you are, <laughs> which actually may be scaring them. Yeah, look at this. Six of Pentacles in reverse. It's causing this inequality, this imbalance in the connection. Um, and it's directly above the, the strength card in reverse. So it's like this fear is what's causing the imbalance. The Ten of Wands in reverse, though, uh, where they're wanting to release any burdens. Knight of Coins in reverse. They're just doing it very slowly. Okay, so there's a lot of fear from this person in this connection. They're almost afraid of their own feelings here. One more, please. We're going to clarify these as well. Yeah, Seven of Wands. They absolutely want to be vulnerable with you with the Strength card and the Seven of Wands in reverse. They want to be open and transparent and um, not have any blockages, not have any walls up, but I think they really struggle with this, the actual um, like being able to do that with the Knight of Coins and the Six of Coins both in reverse here. Clarify the Six of Coins in reverse. Actually, no, I'm being told the Strength card. Clarify the Strength in reverse. Why is Strength in reverse, please? They absolutely see you as wish fulfillment over here though, Capricorn. Oh, we just got three and I'm being told to take all of those. Okay. Ah. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think in the past, so you've got temperance here, uh, queen of coins in reverse and the four of coins in reverse. So I think what's happened in the past is they have struggled to let go of someone in the past um, that... Maybe they took a long time to heal from, could have been a Sagittarius. This person may have been a, a lot, very jealous or just generally um, weren't able to give them the, the uh, stability that they were hoping to find in a relationship. And I think that that's why they feel vulnerable with you. They don't, they don't want to repeat those same mistakes. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles, please. It, it scares them that they may get themselves into this situation again. Yeah, the world card. Okay, so they do, they know that they don't want to close things off to you. They know that they want to keep the, the door open with you, but they're restricting themselves from giving anything to this relationship. Um, tell me about the Ten of Wands. What are we wanting to let go of here? I actually think this is the burdens of their mind probably. The Ten of Wands, please. Why is the Ten of Wands in reverse? Hmm. Um, I think that they want things to move quicker, but at the same time, they're stuck in Knight of Coins in reverse. You've got the seven of, seven of Pentacles in reverse, which indicates, you know, this level of impatience and wanting to get on with things. And that's like, that's the burden that they want to release. They want to release the fact that, um, maybe they're very slow moving. Maybe they are afraid. They are aware that they're afraid. So they might be quite self-aware. Uh, tell me about the Knight of Coins, please, in reverse. Why is the Knight of Coins in reverse? It's like they're getting in their own way over here, Capricorn. Yeah, King of Cups. Look, I want to come towards you with my with my cup, um, but I'm kind of too afraid to move right now with the Knight of Pentacles 
um, in reverse or knight of coin in reverse. You've got the high priestess in reverse as well. They might be um, getting ready to reveal how they're feel, feeling towards you. Um, they may be in a bit of denial about how they feel towards you as well with that high priestess in reverse. All right, what action uh, will Capricorn's person take towards them, if any? What action will Capricorn's person take this week towards, towards the situation? These cards are super slippery. They're beautiful cards. They're brand new. I love them, but they're really slippery. <laughs> All right, the moon in reverse. Okay, so they're definitely getting ready to confess how they feel about things. Um, that's good. So that high priestess in reverse confirms that as well with the moon in reverse. You might be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces. Oh, the sun. Beautiful. Look at this. The moon and then the sun. The moon in reverse turning into the sun. Beautiful. Things being illuminated. Things really, the sun really shining on things here. Um, and this is the, the happiest card in the deck. It's the yes card. So again, you may be dealing with a Leo. That's twice now that we've seen those Leo cards come out. Two more, please. This person is absolutely gearing up. Oh, wow. Ace of Cups. I can't make this stuff up. So they're absolutely gearing up to confess their feelings, tell you how much you mean to them. Um, I think they're probably going to come out of this stuck energy. If not this week, next week. One more, please. What action will Capricorn's person take? Sorry. These cards are crazy slippery. Once they get some oil and dirt on them, they'll be fine. <laughs> okay. But they are still going to be quite guarded. So they, they want to be doing this Seven of Wands in reverse here, which we see. Um, but this will definitely be a challenge or a blockage for them. So these are all the things that are going on inside of them. They want to offer you an Ace of Cups. They, they absolutely, you make them very happy with the Sun card. They want to confess their feelings here with the Moon card in reverse. Um, but the, the seven of wands is just going to slow them down again, unfortunately. So like I said, this may not happen, um, this week, it might happen next week, but it's definitely coming. They are definitely getting ready to face their feelings about you. Um, Capricorn, let's get some guidance cards for Capricorn, please. What guidance do we have for Capricorn? Guidance cards for Capricorn. Okay, five of swords here. All right, so you're definitely being challenged <laughs> um, by this situation. Um, it may also be bringing conflict between the two of you, so just be careful of that and consider a different approach at saying one more. Oh, so that you can reach this this two of cups. Beautiful, yeah. So don't get drawn into a conflict with this person just because they're not moving as quickly as you'd like them to move. Give them some time. Let them arrive at this decision and this realization in their own time because that's what's going to deepen this emotion. That's what's going to bring this two of cups commitment, favorable connection um, to fruition. So it's there. It's coming. It's on its way, Capricorn. It's very exciting. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down down in the comment section below. If you feel like you need a personal reading, you can find all of the details, including how to reach me down in the description box below. Have a great week and hopefully I'll be talking to you very soon, Capricorn. Bye.